welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. Today I'm going to do a little more project journaling and I was sort of in a Halloween-y kind of mood. So today we're going to do an entry on another one of the free patterns we have over on our website. We're going to be doing this Crochet Ami Gurumi Ghost Pattern. It's a really cute little stuffed toy pattern. It stands around four and a half inches, maybe 11 and a half centimeters high. And it's a cute little toy, but it's also cute as a little garland. You could make a whole bunch of them and stuff them with light stuffing so that they're not very heavy and string them up for a Halloween decoration. The other thing you could do is if you've got much smaller Halloween plans this year, you could maybe make up a handful of these if you're only going to see a couple of little ghosts and goblins. I've gotten all of my things together. So I've got my pattern. I've got my notes sheet already um, filled out with a little bit of decoration. And I'm going to be putting together my little title page. Then I'm going to put it all together in my plastic sleeve and put it in my journal. And I've just got a handful of little Halloween-y things here. I've got some markers that feel kind of festive. I've got a lime green and an orange and a purple and a black. I've got some glue. I've got my... Um, tape dispenser. I love this stuff. It kind of goes on like corrective tape. And then I've just got a couple of little shapes that I've cut out, a few little stickers, and that's really all I need to put this journal entry together. So I'm just going to quickly go through the crochet pattern notes. I've got my project names. This was a little Amigurumi ghost pattern, and I think the first time I made it was around October 2016. I used some basic Red Heart Super Saver acrylic yarn. That's a size 4 medium yarn, and I used a 4.25 millimeter hook for it. Um, I didn't really need too much of that yarn, I think about 40 yards, just a little bit of black too for its eyes. And then I also used some embroidery floss. So I made a note that I used some black embroidery floss here and I've got a little piece of each. So I've got the black yarn, the white yarn, and a little piece of that black embroidery floss just sort of taped to my um, sample little section. And like I like to do, I don't necessarily always just tape it into the little square that I've made um, room for it in. Sometimes I like to back it on something. So I've got everything kind of on a little bit of a purpley background and I added some pretty stars because <laughs> I love that sort of Halloweeny night sky look. I also love to do little crochet um, sketches sort of. So I made a little miniature thread ghost um, and he's just sort of my little sketch. Now this is a flat two-dimensional concept of a three-dimensional stuffed toy. Um, and if you wanted to make one of these for yourself, so if you were going to sort of do a little bit of ghosty decorating uh, for your own project journals, we've got a really cute ghost applique uh, pattern and tutorial. We'll link the tutorial in the description box down below. And you can use a size 1.75 millimeter or a two millimeter, that's like a zero or a steel hook five. You can use a really small hook and a size 10 crochet thread and it will size down considerably. And for his eyes, I just made, um, cut out two little black pieces of cardboard basically, um, or construction paper for his eyes and glued them on. So nothing fancy, I didn't do any embroidery just for this little this sort of crochet sketch, uh, but I like how that looks. Of course I've added a couple of stickers, um, these are sort of Halloween-y, I've got sort of a cute little series of pumpkins down here. And there really weren't a lot of notes to make. It's a single crochet project. I think it would make a really cute little toy to give away at Halloween, especially if you weren't gonna to see too many um, kids. And also, um, I thought maybe down the road, I might add a little bow to it. We did add a little bow to the Amigurumi, or I should say the little flat ghost that we made. Um, and you could use sort of the same thing on this ghost. So I thought a ghost with like a bow tie or a bow in its hair would look really cute. So that's the only little note I had. Okay, I'm going to put together a title page. This is something else I like to do for some of my projects. I don't do them for all of my projects, but I really love um, themed things like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, anything that kind of has a seasonal feel to it. And I like to go out a little bit extra when I'm doing a project entry for those specific projects. So because I love Halloween so much and I like to decorate for Halloween, I thought it would be really fun to kind of have a section in my project journal that was all my Halloween projects um, and patterns, and I thought this would be a nice one to start with. So I have went ahead, I've got a nice plain piece of black cardstock, uh, nothing fancy. This is what I'm going to base my entire project sort of um, title page on. I made a couple of little <laughs> cutouts. Um, this is just plain white cardstock, um, and I drew on a couple of little eyes. 
uh, just two of them. They look like little ghosties and I kind of liked the way they looked sort of floating on top of that black uh, piece of cardstock. I have a little title. Um, this is says Amigurumi Ghost, so that's the name of the actual project. I like how that looks and um, I love to do just that simple little sort of looks like stitching where you do a little sort of dash line all the way around the edge. Just sets it off. It's a cute little border. Um, and I like the way it looks. It almost looks like, like you've hand stitched it. So that's going to be my little title. And I think I'm going to put my title in the bottom corner today because I got kind of carried away with the idea behind this title page. Um, I did cut out a little fence. <laughs> it's a little white picket fence. Um, Mr. and Stitches made a really cute animation uh, using that ghost a little while ago and there's a little picket fence there in that animation and so I kind of wanted to harken back to that. So I just simply cut out a little um, picket fence thing and I'm going to include that on my title page. I made myself a full moon, <laughs> just a big circle out of the same white cardstock that I've been using sort of for everything here. And I also had these really neat, I don't know how many of these I'm going to use, but I had these really neat little wooden bats. So they're like a little wooden sticker and they've got a little bit of a stickery sort of thing on the back and I thought maybe just sort of sticking one or two or three of these, I'm not sure how many yet, on my title page would look really neat. And of course, whenever I can, I like to have a little bit of crochet. I love to include a bit of crochet decoration. Once again, you could use the, the little, uh, looks like a Pac-Man ghost applique that we did. You can use that applique and a smaller hook. And for this case, I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. So I used two strands of crochet thread, which is the size 10 held together and a 3.25 millimeter hook. So that's one of the, again, a smaller hook. Um, and I'll have a little bit of information about that in the description box down below. So if you want to give that a try, just to sort of have a little, almost like sticker sized bit of crochet to add to your um, project journal or anything else you might be decorating this Halloween season, then you can give that a try. And once again, I just cut out a couple of paper eyes and glued them on. So I didn't even bother doing anything fancy, no fancy embroidery, because after all, this is going in my project journal. So I'm going to give him place uh, sort of prominence in the middle. I also have some more of those pretty little stars. I've got purple ones, orange ones, black ones. They have a kind of a, they pick up the color. Um, that should say they reflect the light nicely. So I'm gonna include some of those. And that's really all I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to sort of decide how I want everything. I think I'm gonna put the bat right on the moon. So I'm just gonna peel this little backing off it. And before I do anything, I'm just gonna put him right in the middle of the moon. I want my little ghosts to kind of look like they're floating around. So I might have these two just on a bit of an angle. I'm going to have him going the other way. Um, I like I like my little fence being kind of in sort of, I like to kind of leave a little bit of border along the edge of my title page. And I like where my title is. I think it's neat having the title down below a little bit. So I think I'm just going to go ahead, glue everything down, add in some stars, and then I'm going to put the whole thing together. I'm just going to wait for those stars to dry and then I'm going to put the whole thing together in my plastic page. 
So there's my finished title page. I think that's really cute. I've got my little crocheted ghost in the middle. I've got some simple cutouts all the way around it. A couple of sparkly stars because I do like it to look a little bit Halloween-y. And then my title down here. Real simple, real cute, and a nice little entrance to this particular project. Let's put it all together now. I like to assemble these things, especially when um, I already know the pattern. I have the pattern, I put it in the middle. So I'm going to put it directly behind my title page. And I'm going to flip my crochet pattern notes over so that they face outwards. So that when I turn my little project paper over, then I can see the title and then I can see the notes. Because to me, the title page and the notes page are the most interesting. And there it is, all done and tucked away in its plastic sleeve. I've got my title page and my notes page showing the two most important parts of the journaling as far as I'm concerned. I know the pattern is tucked in the middle and if I do want to make one down the road, I can just quickly check my notes page and it'll tell me what yarn and what hook to grab before I've even pulled the pattern out of the sleeve. If you'd like to start journaling yourself and you want a bit of a head start, Mr. and Stitches has designed a really nifty digital journal kit that you can download from our Etsy shop and you can print out. It has a cover page, some binder spine inserts, it's got the notes pattern page, or the pattern notes page I should say, and a couple other little things for you to get started in your own project journal. All you need is a binder and um, some paper really to get going. And now we also have a seasonal expansion kit for our journal. It's got um, some seasonal planning pages and it's got four nifty sticker sized little crochet patterns that you can follow to help decorate your pages. Um, so you can check that out in our Etsy shop. We'll put a link to that in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out the pattern workshop page over on our website for the free patterns including this cute little amigurumi uh, ghosty and we'll make sure that link is there too. And of course if you want to make a ghost um, either the stuffed one or the little flat one, we'll put links to both those tutorials in the description box down below as well. I hope you enjoyed doing a little journaling along with me today and we will see you soon here on the Jade and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye everybody! Hi everybody! Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe!